and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be eating new in food for the day. A couple of weeks ago, I did fast food, but this time's mainly gonna be things that I found in supermarkets. There is endless amounts of new food for me to try, and I'm gonna try as many things as I can in today's video. So let's just get straight on with the video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's have breakfast. I'm actually gonna try a few different things for breakfast today, more like a taste of breakfast. I picked a few things up so first thing I picked up this was actually about a month ago now and my boyfriend has been on at me to open these and I've been like it's for a video it's for a video but these are the cocoa pops what are they even called though chocos I picked these up in Sainsbury's I believe I really love the little version of these so I think they're going to be really good I have a feeling that they used to have these out before I don't know but clearly says new in the package and then last week i was in aldi and i saw these and i was like oh my god if you know my current cereal obsession i have been loving crunchy nuts so when i saw salted caramel i was like yes please hand them over so as you can tell i'm very excited to try these and then something else that i couldn't miss i was tagged in this so many times these are the warburton crumpet fins there's eight of these in a pack so you do get more but then they are thinner i'm interested to see how much the texture has changed so yeah i'm just going to try one of these for now with a bit of butter excuse the angle but i'm ready for breakfast so first of all i have my crumpet thin and i put lots of butter on i don't know how i feel it's not hitting the same like i prefer bagel thins over bagels i mean it's nice like i'll definitely eat them but it doesn't have that same effect as a crumpet does. The only reason you might choose these over a normal crumpet, in my opinion, is if you're in a calorie deficit. I definitely wouldn't pick these over a normal crumpet personally though. But they're too airy. They're just not it. Do you know what's better than this? A pikelet or a pipe? I don't know how you say it to be honest with you. I haven't had them in a while. I'm a bit sad about that, but then I don't know what I was expecting. They're not bad, but they're definitely not a new fave. Let's move on to the little chocolate shells. Just done myself a little mini bowl of each. Oh, they smell really chocolatey. Oh, I just put all the milk down me. Great. They smell like how I remember Cocoa Pops used to smell. It smells like chocolate milk. I really like them and they even taste how I remember Cocoa Pops tasting. I don't know what it is. Cocoa Pops are just lacking. I mean, I still eat them, but I know they're not as good as what they used to be since they went 30% less sugar. I love the crunch of them. I haven't had the little ones in probably well over a year now, so I can't remember exactly what they were like i need to probably directly compare them far as cereals go these are really good i've got a funny feeling these are going to be my new fave i did get these in sainsbury's but i did see these in tesco yesterday so i think everywhere's probably got them now would i buy these again 100 percent. let's move on to cereal number two i'm hoping i've saved the best till last by the way i have just filled this up with milk so that they haven't gone soggy I don't like it. it. Tastes like candy floss. I'm so sad. It's like an artificial caramel taste. And I'm not getting the salted flavour. The candy floss flavour's kind of gone. I don't know. It's tasting better now. I don't know if I was just overreacting because it was my first bite. And I wasn't expecting it. I don't know. I won't lie. I'm not really sold on these. I definitely prefer the normal crunchy nut over these. I was definitely overreacting. Oh, it's very unlike me, I know. Flavour's not giving what it needs to give would i buy these ones again no we're off to kind of a good start i guess at least it wasn't all bad i mean none of it's bad but i'm not shouting off the rooftops you know the crumpets they're nice like they taste like crumpets but they're just not as good as the normal ones probably as expected on reflection but then because i love bagel thin so much i just thought you know maybe they have a real potential Anyway, I will see you guys now for lunch. It's time for lunch and I'm going to be trying something new that's from Aldi. So they seem to have brought out a lot of these new thins. They sounded really good to me. So these are naan style thins. I hope they really capture the taste of naan because if they do, I will be very excited. So I'm going to have one of these and then to go inside, I picked up some chicka ticken. <sighs> what? <laughs> Can't get my words out. It's gone so dark. Why is it doing this? that better chicken tikka slices and then i'm just going to put a bit of like mango chutney lettuce the usual 
And then to go with it, I got some of this peach and passion fruit sparkling water. I feel like these drinks go really well as like a mixer in the summer. So let's make lunch. I've also got something else to go with it, but I'll show you that once I've finished with the sandwich. Here's my lunch. I did end up putting this in the toaster just for 30 seconds. I'm excited to try this. I can't remember what the other ones were. I feel like these are going to be a new fave. Although, what else would I put in it? Because when I think of a naan, I either want to be eating it with a curry or mango chutney. So, like, if I started eating it with other stuff, would I ruin the flavour of naan? You know, like when you overeat something, you're like, mm, this is kind of boring now. I guess if you have them every so often, it's fine. They're really good. I'm actually really happy with them. It's the little things in life, you know. I'll definitely recommend them and I'll definitely be buying them again. Two bites in and I'm sold. This weekend for me, probably not when you're watching this, is bank holiday weekend. And in May, we've got three bank holiday Mondays. And obviously I only work Mondays and Tuesdays. So in May, I've got three one day weeks. I'm so excited. I'm like, I need to make the most of it. I don't want to go out and get drunk every Sunday and waste that extra day. <laughs> then you can't help it. When it comes to bank holiday weekend, everyone's always like, I want to do something last minute. And I just, I can't say no. Also, how many days ago is it now? Two days ago, maybe? One of my friends has got engaged in Venice of all places. I'm like, I really want to go Venice because it's sinking. I feel like it's such a beautiful place. I'd love to go before it actually sinks. But can you imagine on a bow, how romantic is that? That's a dream proposal right there. Like, what would you guys want? I would not want to, it, actually, to be fair, I say that, but I think I would even cringe just being on the boat. But then I guess when you're in the moment, you probably don't really care. But if my boyfriend proposed in a restaurant or something, I would be mortified. And that's just because of my own embarrassment. Not to say that if you've been proposed to in a public place, you should be embarrassed. But I just mean like, I personally, I would crawl up in a ball and I would die. <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed that really recommend if you love naan as much as me let's try the drink before we have something else mm. well that smells like summer oh, that's really good like really really good this sitting outside in the summer oh that's really nice and as i said with the mixer i don't personally like gin but i do like orange gin that would go really nice but what is the gin actually people love there is a peach one isn't there can i give it a 10 out of 10 am i feeling generous today no because i didn't love the sort of caramel stuff so maybe not did i say that was from aldi i think i did let's move on to something else we have the burger king whopper crisps and uh, just to clarify, to avoid confusion, the burger is not included. Rude. But it does say you get a free Whopper meal. Oh yeah, duh, because I had the Dorito chicken. So they have done a collaboration, like both ways. How cool. No, they actually smell like McDonald's. I oh, know it's Burger King. Okay. I really went through the motions then. These taste like Spanish crisps or any crisps you find in Europe. So at first I was like, oh my God, these taste like black walkers, black lays. They're full of flavor at first, but then they kind of get a bit dry. So I feel like these would be really good dipped in something or maybe I'm just, should stop eating the whole thing. I'm not obsessed. They are good. They're definitely giving burger. Would I buy them over the red ones? Probably not. Would I recommend them? I would say yeah. I think they've got an interesting taste. This is going to be a good one because it's so dark. Mm. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit for an afternoon snack. It's time for something sweet. And how weird is this? I was literally just going to get these out of the fridge on my phone. Someone messaged me on Instagram saying, have you tried these? I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is literally me right now. There's all different ones of these. They've got the fingers, the actual bar, and the nibbles. I have gone for the nibbles. I have put these in the fridge, by the way. Some chocolate, I feel, is better in the fridge. And even though I haven't tried these, I feel like this is the type of chocolate that would thrive in the fridge. But maybe not, actually, because it's caramel, but whatever. I actually haven't seen great things online about these. The salted caramel isn't really salty enough, but I think that is. It is subtle, but in a really good way. I really like these. The saltedness takes away from the sickly caramel taste. Mm. I'm glad I picked these up because when I saw them, I was like, 
do I bother? Because I haven't seen the best reviews. Although they wasn't eating these ones. They was eating the bar, I think it was. Anyway, my plans for dinner have messed up. So I wanted to get the loaded fries from Nando's, but you can't get them as a takeaway. And I'm not about to go and eat in there and feel myself on my own. My boyfriend's at West Ham tonight. And to be honest, I can't be bothered to text anyone else and see if they wanna go. So I need to go and look for something else for dinner. I guess I'll see you in a bit for that. I've been out and got my dinner. I'm still really sad about the Nando's. Whilst I was in M&S, I saw these, but I thought I would quickly grab them and give them a try. Soft cheese with Marmite and lightly salted breadsticks. I am about to make my dinner, so I'm just gonna give it a little try, you know? Oh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Mmm, this is good. I don't think this was cheap though. Let me get the receipt. Two pounds. They are really good. I really just want to eat this whole thing, but it's time for dinner. I won't lie, none of the options really excited me. They did have these like pork donuts, but then I read it was basically just kind of like a breaded sausage, but it was pork and apple. And I was like, no. I decided to pick up these. So these are Perry chicken dogs. The description is chicken hot dogs with peppers, jalapeno chilies, and spices. So I'm just gonna have a hot dog and chips. And then to go with the chips, I did wanna try their salt and vinegar mayo, but they didn't have it. But whilst I was looking, I saw this chip shop curry sauce. This is gonna be a really random dinner. Well, it's not really, is it? No, it's not. The flavors may be a bit weird together. Do you reckon mustard and ketchup will go nice with Perry chicken? Not sure, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And then I've got me hot dog rolls and I need to get my chips out of the freezer. I've got my dinner. I went with the tomato and mustard in the end because I thought, you know what, it just felt right, okay? <coughs> Let's do the chips first because that sausage is gonna burn my mouth off. So I really wanna try this. Oh, that's good. Feels like it needs to be hot though. Feels criminal eating cold curry sauce. That is really good sauce. Let me talk about how perfectly the sausage fit in the burger. <laughs> the sausage fit in the bun, because I thought I was gonna have to cut a bit off. I obviously cremated the shit out of that hot dog. I suddenly had this thing, I was like, oh my God, I'm not even eating a hot dog, I'm eating chicken. Hope it tastes nice with the mustard. <laughs> Better be cooked. I'm not sure on the flavor of that, you know. That probably wasn't pleasant viewing. I might have just cropped that out. Literally, I had the sausage dangling at my gob. It's got a really nice kick to it, but I feel like it would have been better, maybe like kebab type on a stick rather than a sausage. Sometimes I think though, when you're eating something like chicken sausages, your brain always takes a minute to catch up because all of a sudden you've got spicy sausage. Let me finish it and then I can give you a proper verdict. <laughs> sausages not sold weren't doing it for me personally i know some people would like them so i would probably feel inclined to turn up at a barbecue with them i feel like my brother would like them i'm gonna go straight in with dessert and a cocktail because i've just read that this has high caffeine content which is pretty obvious but i just didn't really think about it i also picked up in m&s this salted caramel espresso martini these are tiny like what can i compare it to like it's teeny tiny but these are 14 percent. but yeah they are three pound fifty which is crazy but then i guess if you buy a cocktail when you're out there a tenner um where i live they are anyway maybe i'll just give it a little shake just so that it's a bit frothy i mean it feels a bit pointless pouring it in here but i want to see it oh yeah there's no froth to that at all <laughs> another thing i just want to say before i try this my m s have got rid of the raspberry mojito cans i will literally cry and i asked the lady and she was like we don't know they've just stopped stocking them she was like maybe they'll come back for summer i was like please don't tell me Mm. Espresso martinis do make me shudder a bit. I'm a bit like, ugh, but I also love them. Do you know when I proper started getting into them? When I used to go out after work? Because if you're up at five in the morning, you finish at five, you're shattered. An espresso martini after work was... The salted caramel part of this is really nice. It just 
has thrown me off. Maybe I shouldn't have poured it out because the fact it is just like a pure liquid. I mean, come on, it's not going to have froth on top. But I thought it was going to be more like, you know, the Starbucks cans or the Costa cans. I thought it was going to be more of that consistency. Looks like I've got Pepsi in here or something. I would definitely buy it again, especially if I'm feeling a bit tired before a night out. Nice bit of coffee breath, can't go wrong. Anyway, I'm waiting for my dessert to defrost. So I'll be back with you once it has. It's time for dessert and I have got, oh, the Cadbury Caramel Ice Cream. It says new. Wouldn't be surprised if this has been out for a while because I never look at the Cadbury's ice creams and I don't even know if I've ever tried one of Cadbury's ice creams before. This says it's creamy, creamy. Okay, now one cocktail down. I can't get my words out. Creamy vanilla ice cream with with golden caramel chocolate center. No, I'm actually struggled in. Look, this is what happens when I drink. My face starts to go red. This has been out for a while. I personally like my ice cream very melted. I picked this up. I've gone straight in the middle, by the way. In Tesco, it was on Club Car Points, three pounds. They also have these in like the bar forms. I lost my taste and smell. I was ill the whole of last week, so I just kind of got a bit paranoid there that I'd lost my taste and smell. This legit has no taste. Let me find the bit in the middle. So this is the bit in the middle. It's more like mousse. Do you know what? I've only ever lost my taste and smell once before, and it was whilst I was eating a tub of ice cream, and I literally told this story like last week in a video. I just think it's shit. It's really, really got no taste. Okay, I'm just going to quickly look up reviews on this. Oh, thank God. It's literally got two star reviews. Little or no taste. Someone said, love caramel milk, but this ice cream was horrible. Taste of nothing. I'm going to have to leave a review and say, actually full. But then somebody else wrote, delicious ice cream, especially the soft gooey part, would even pay full price. That's that's crazy to me because it it has no, no taste. And I can't stress this enough. Like, it doesn't even taste like vanilla ice cream. If I was to rate this, I would literally rate it 1 out of 10. What a shit way to end the day. I really thought I was onto something then. I'm going to finish the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.